Hello friends. Wild pigs are destroying farms and crops, costing American farmers billions of dollars. So how have American farmers tried to control the feral? Please watch this entire video. Feral pigs are a serious problem in the United States, causing damage to the agriculture and the environment. According to estimates by the United States Department of Agriculture USDA, feral pigs cause about 2.5 billion USD in damage to the agricultural industry each year. Wild pigs are omnivorous, eating anything they can find, including crops, fruit, small animals and even garbage. They can destroy crops, pollute water sources, and transmit diseases to other animals. Wild pigs have the ability to reproduce quickly and adapt to new living environments. They can travel hundreds of miles in search of food and breeding grounds. Some crops that are not attractive to feral pigs include cabbage, kale, mustard, greens, and lettuce. Farmers can grow these crops to minimize their attraction to feral pigs. This not only reduces the risk of feral pigs entering the farm, but also helps protecting crops from their destruction. Using plants that are not attractive to feral pigs can be an important part of an overall strategy to protect farms and maintain balance in the agricultural ecosystem. In addition, using natural protection measures such as attracting other wild animals to act as natural opponents for feral pigs can also be useful. This can help reduce feral pig pressure on farms and keep the ecosystem in the area more balanced. Combining various measures can increase farm performance and ensure the sustainability of agricultural production in the future. Fences are an important part of protecting farms from feral pigs. Feral pigs can cause extensive damage to crops and agricultural facilities, and building a sturdy fence system is an effective way to keep them out. Farmers have many options for building fences. Barbed wire, steel mesh, and concrete are all popular options. The fence should be at least six feet high to prevent feral pigs from being able to jump over or over it. At the same time, it also needs to be buried at least two feet underground to prevent feral pigs from digging and entering from underground. Investing in proper fencing can help protect your farm from feral swine and ensure the safety of your crops and livestock. This is an important part of managing and protecting your agricultural farm from the challenge of the natural environment. Traps are one of the common methods placed in areas frequented by feral pigs. When a wild pig enters the trap, the trap will automatically close, capturing the animal in the trap, helping to control the number of wild pigs and minimizing damage to the farm. Bait traps are another option, often placed in areas with food for feral swine. This trap uses the smell of food to attract feral pigs and then captures them when they enter the trap. 
Additionally, electric traps can also be used, which use electricity to stun wild pigs. This is an effective method of controlling feral pigs. However, it needs to be carefully done to ensure operator safety. Using traps combined with other measures, such as feral pig resistant planting and farm management, will help farmers protect their products and maintain agricultural sustainability. Hunting dogs can be used to chase feral pigs off farms. They're trained to do this job effectively and safely. Hunting dogs have great strength and tracking ability, allowing them to move quickly and chase wild pigs out of the farm areas without endangering farmers or other animals. The use of hunting dogs is a beneficial solution for maintaining security and safety on the farm, while minimizing potential between humans and wildlife. In this case, hunting is the most effective method to defeat feral pigs. However, it can also pose risks to people and environment. Hunting wild pigs sometimes requires the use of hunting equipment or other means to ensure effectiveness However, the use of hunting equipment can pose a serious risk of accident to those participating in hunting activities especially when carried out in areas near residential areas Furthermore, the use of hunting equipment can also cause loud noise and disturbance, causing disturbance to the community and surrounding environment. Therefore, in managing the appearance of feral pigs, farmers need to consider the effectiveness and risks of hunting measures. At the same time, that is necessary to implement reasonable prevention and management measures to minimize the harm caused by feral pigs to farms and environment. Authorities have implemented community education programs to raise people's awareness about the harmful effects of feral pigs and feral pig control measures. However, controlling feral pigs is a complex and difficult problem. Wild pigs are intelligent and agile animals. They can adapt to new living environments and find food in hard to reach places. Therefore, coordination of many parties including the government, non-governmental organizations and people is needed to solve this problem. The process of raising millions of cattle has taken place on large pastures in recent decades. Cows have always been the most popular domesticated livestock in the United States. The price of cows is high, and the demand for cows' milk and beef is also increasing gradually. Therefore, the area of agricultural land for raising cows is very large, catering to the needs of the market. Not only cows, sheep, goats, and horses are also species that raise millions of animals on large farms. You will be surprised when you come to these big farms. 
in such large numbers, the grasslands are only their meal for a few days. According to USDA statistics as of mid-2022, there are about 176 million cattle raised in the United States, and these farms include animals such as goats, sheep, and pigs, in which cattle are the most abundant species with about 53%, followed by pigs with 41%, sheep with about 4%, and goats accounting for only 2% of the total cattle herd of the country. According to the U.S. Bureau of Land Management in 2021, about 788 million acres of land in the country are used for cattle grazing, accounting for 41.4% of the country's area. You're seeing one-year-old lambs at Auburn, North California farm. The mother sheep will give birth to two to three lambs. They will live with their mother for nine weeks before weaning. An estimated 1.7 million sheep are born each year. After two to four weeks of age, the lambs will be tagged and tailed by the ranch owner. The tags are like chips that can track their location and even their health. This is one of the processes required by farms. According to the 2021 census in California, there are about 9,300 sheep farms with a number of about 557,000 heads, accounting for 11% of the sheep population of the country. This is a sheep farm in McMullen County, South Texas, home to more than 600 sheep over four months to a year old. At this age, they will follow their mother to the grasslands to feed. They will be trained in independent living skills as soon as they are growing up. Currently, Texas is the state with the largest number of sheep in the United States, with about 747,000 heads, accounting for 17% of sheep herds in the country. Grazing hundreds of sheep in the pasture is also supported by these shepherds. These support dogs will help the sheep avoid the attack of coyotes and wildcats. In addition to Texas and California, Idaho, Colorado, and Wyoming, are also states with large numbers of sheep grazing in the grasslands and hillside area. According to USDA statistics, as of mid-2022, there are about 101,000 sheep farms in operation across the country, with about 53% of sheep raised on farms with a fairly large area of land, and the remaining sheep are raised on factory farms. Usually in the spring, the farms will harvest wool. On average, each adult sheep will give about seven to seven and a half pounds. This will be done once a year to keep the sheep more comfortable in the summer. In addition to wool, sheep are also raised for meat. According to statistics, every year about 2.3 million sheep are raised for meat. 
the average annual production of lamb meat consumption is 137 million pounds. That is the sheep farm. Next we will go to one of the farms with thousands of goats to see how to raise it. As of September 2022, there are approximately 2.65 million goats in the United States, and they are raised primarily in states such as Tennessee, Texas, California, and Georgia. Thousands of goats on a farm in Edwards County, Southwest Texas. Almost goats and sheep are raised in the same way. Each new day, they will be released into the vast grasslands, even the nearby mountains. There are currently about 1.1 million goats in Texas, representing 41% of the goats nationwide. For the most part, goats in the state are raised on farms with large pastures. Goats in Texas are raised for meat with 83%. They will live in fenced areas, and most of their food is provided by breeders. late afternoon, thousands of goats will follow the herd back to the farm to rest, avoiding the hunt of wolves. An estimated 1,100 goats in Texas are attacked by wolves each year. That's a pretty big number that worries farm owners. The period from 8 to 12 months is when goats are transferred to auction. Thousands of goats will be shipped to processing plants or transferred to other farms. The goats will be loaded onto a dedicated transport vehicle. Each vehicle can transport about 100 adult goats. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.